hi students it's time for reading in previous class we have read good neighbors lesson first page most of you have sent to me reading video very good keep it up but this time everybody should send your reading video through whatsapp today we are going to read good neighbors lesson second page that means page number 22 in your english book students take let's start to read it in previous class i found some common mistakes when you read don't read one on word alone then without stop you are reading continuously you have to understand one thing if there is full stop or comma just pause then read it then only your reading will be nice students when i read keep your finger on the book listen carefully when i read keep your finger on the line listen carefully listen two or three times then you start to record it i hope you will understand let's start to read keep your finger before that take your english book page number 22 keep your finger on the line listen neko ran outside to jack's yard and asked if she could help him finish his snowman neko ran outside to jack's yard to jack's yard y a r d yard and asked students don't say asked say asked if she could help him finish his snowman second line keep your finger on the line yes please help me jack said see there is a comma so don't read yes please help me jack said don't read yes please help me jack said my father will be home from work very soon my father will be home from work very soon okay see there is a full stop say okay what can i do neko asked i built my snowman's body with two snowballs i built my snowman's body with two snowballs i need to roll one more for my snowman's head i need to roll one more for my snowman's head but snowmen have only two snowballs but snowmen students look at the word s n o w m e n so you should pronounce snowmen 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 have only two snowballs so snowmen is a plural snowmen have only two snowballs one is for the body and one is for the head one is for the body and one is for the head neko said no snowmen always have three snowballs snowmen snowmen always have three snowballs jack said i don't think i need you to help me after all students listen i don't think i need you to help me after all that means i don't want your help jack picked students don't say picked say picked jack picked up jack picked up some snow and made it into a small snowball jack picked up some snow and made it into a small snowball he got on his knees and rolled the snow away from neko to make the snowman's head jack picked up some snow and made it into a small snowball he got on his knees and rolled the snow away from neko to make the snowman's head neko walked students say walked w a l k e d pronounced walked don't say walked that is wrong neko walked into her own yard 
and begin to build her own snowman. I don't want to build a snowman. I don't want to build a snowman with Jack anyway. She thought to herself, I'm going to make my own. I'm going to make my own. Students, once again I read this page fully. Listen carefully. Then practice two or three times. After that, with your, with help of your parents, make it, record it and send it to me. Neko ran outside to Jack's yard and asked if she could help him finish his snowman. Yes, please help me, Jack said. My father will be home from work very soon. Okay, what can I do? Neko asked. I built my snowman's body with the two snowballs. I need to roll one more for my snowman's head. I need to roll one more for my snowman's head. But snowmen have only two snowballs. One is for the body and one is for the head. Neko said. No, snowmen always have three snowballs. No, snowmen always have three snowballs, Jack said. I don't think I need you to help me after all. I don't think I need you to help me after all. Jack picked up some snow and made it into a small snowball. He got on his knees and rolled the snow away from Neko. He got on his knees. He got on his knees and rolled the snow away from Neko to make the snowman's head. Neko walked into her own yard and began to build her own snowman. I don't want to build a snowman with Jack anyway. I don't want to build a snowman with Jack anyway. She thought to herself, I am going to make my own. Students, this is what you have to read. I hope you practice well. You will read well. Next, it's time for handwriting. It's a time for writing, take needed things, write date and write neatly, draw lines. Today, Students, in previous class, we completed first page. Today we are going to complete second page alone. Write today date, it's very important. Last time you didn't mention the date. So whenever you write handwriting, at first, you should write date. Use pencil only. Don't write in pen. Before you write, sharp your pencil, write neatly and write slowly. If you write fast, your handwriting will not be developed. So write slowly. Don't write extra pages. So far, you should have completed two pages alone. Keep it in mind. Students, finally, write the handwriting second page and upload in your teachment. Thank you. Write well. And reading also you can practice well. Thank you. See you in the next class.